Hi there, it's Peter here. You're watching the GreenSock 101 free online course for front-end developers and designers where you can learn a lot about GreenSock API and web animations in 60 minutes. In this video, you will learn how to add easing to your twins, how to use the default easings and also how to configure the rough, stepped and slow-mo easings. Until now, all our animations were feeling a little bit boring, a little bit unnatural, and a great way to add some personality and feel to your animations is to use easing. Okay, you write easing inside of the object with the attributes you want to animate, and you type ease power zero ease none. So this is the syntax for easing. So it's ease colon power the strength of it. So this number can vary between one and four as well. We'll start a power zero and we'll set the ease none. Okay, this will make the image going from left to right at the same speed so it doesn't have any easing. Okay, so to reset it, to make no easing, you use the power zero ease none. The other option is power one ease in. Okay, so this is another easing which starts slow and finishes fast. Okay, so start slow, finishes fast and other option is ease out. Okay, this will start fast and finish slower at the end. And the other option we can play with is the strength of this easing. Okay, so changing it from between one and four will increase the strength of the curve. Okay, so it starts a little bit faster, finishes even slower and so on. So three is even stronger and four is the maximum value. Okay, you see how this affects the look and feel of the animation. And now we'll have a look how to include some extra easings using extra plugin. We'll open a new tab and search GreenSock is plugin CDN. We want the link to the CDN. This is the GSAP on CD and, and we want to get only the e spec. Okay, so we copy that reference to the e spec and go back to our HTML and include it inside of the HTML at the bottom of the page. Change the reference to the ease plugin, and now we are ready to start using the extra easings. Here we have the extra easings in action. First one is the back ease out, followed by the bounce ease out. And then at the end, we've got the circ ease out. Okay, as you can see, they all affect the final look and feel of the animation. Another three will be elastic ease out, expo ease out, and scene ease out as well. Okay, all of these could be ease out or ease in, or ease in, ease out. And at the end, we'll look at the rough ease, the slow motion, the slow-mo, and the stepped ease. All the rough ease, slow-mo, and stepped ease require some extra configuration, and you can get the exact syntax for the rough, slow-mo, and stepped ease on the greensock.com slash ease visualizer. Okay, this is a visual tool which shows you the curve of the animation. The rough ease has a lot of options, a lot of settings, which you can customize to create a curve to match your idea. The slow motion has only three settings. Again, you can customize it and then copy and paste the ease from here. And the last one, stepped ease, has config with a number of steps for each of the twins. Okay, so for this, visit the greensock.com ease visualizer and you would write the syntax just like we did before, is stepped is config 20, and the same for the slow-mo and rough is. One thing to note, if you're using twin max, you don't need to include the extra ease pack plugin or the CSS plugin. Both of these are included in the twin max. So if you're using twin max, you can straight away start using all the easings we've just covered without including the additional plugins. We'll keep exploring the GreenSock API in the following video, but if you want to download the working files and follow me step by step, and also watch the whole course without the annoying YouTube ads, then hop onto my website and sign up for free.
The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video.